Hello and welcome to another video on time series forecasting, where we'll be discussing one of the simple models that are often used, which is uh, exponential smoothing. So the essential idea of uh, any kind of time series when we have our, uh, our data against a given period where we have all our observations and uh, see this is something that we have recorded. Typically, when you're talking about any forecast that we are giving for the future periods, it's basically a function of all the previous values. That's uh, essentially what most models go for. Typically, when you're talking about uh, a simple model like autoregression, you're talking about uh, this prediction being a function of yt1, yt minus two, and so on. Let's say you have uh, n time periods on which you are trying to measure the dependence. So it's quite similar for exponential smoothing, where uh, you would give you would give this fun uh, this uh, the predicted value at time t as a function of all the past observations, say y t minus one and uh, y t minus two. This would have a slightly reduced weight now. And um, we go to y t minus three, our one minus theta is basically increased by a degree. And it becomes one theta times one minus theta cube for y t minus four and so on, going up to, you will have uh, theta times one minus theta raised to n plus one for y t n, right? or rather yt minus n. And uh, that essentially is our, our weighted product or weighted sum of all the past data or the past values given by, uh, for basically giving us the predicted value. So here, when you talk about uh, theta as one particular value that assumes a range between zero to one. So the higher the theta, or that is to say closer it is to one, you are talking about laying more and more emphasis on your most recent values. So as we can see, we are giving a high weightage to T minus one, slightly less to T minus two, and it goes, it decreases more and more as you go towards values that are far away from this current observation or the predicted observation at time T. So this could be better written as if we were to give yt now as a function of yt minus one. Because when we really come down to it, you are actually working on your forecast one by one. Okay, so this is a one step forecasting model. When you look at uh, this particular form of exponential smoothing, One step forecasting would really have yt given as, uh, let's say this is predicted, we're talking about uh, the prediction that we, we, we are looking to gain, uh, theta times yt minus one plus the predicted value for t minus one which is to say one minus theta multiplied by the predicted value for t minus one. And uh, this essentially is, is the same as this first equation that we had put down. Right, this is uh, putting this in another way, we have this equation two. So for each step that we are taking forward, we, we have the actual value as well as the predicted value right up to the very last observation. Right, we have actual and predicted all right, but uh, this stops at this particular stage, which means we can give another predicted value, but we don't know what the values are after that, right? So the idea with the simple exponential smoothing is you are able to forecast one value that is uh, beyond what has been actually measured. 
after that for us to to not to to have values that make sense because uh, otherwise if we simply go by simple exponential smoothing we would we would almost have a straight line here it would be a horizontal line but uh, for us to require values that are more reflective of our previous values which is to say some kind of a trend that is uh, whether it's moving down or it's moving higher up does it reflect the seasonality that is in your time series data that's where we need to come to a more complex model and uh, over the next video we will be discussing holt exponential smoothing and winters exponential smoothing as well so this is the basic idea of uh, simple exponential smoothing giving the exponentially lower and lower weightage to values as you go further back in time.